Hi, everybody. Um, first question. How many people watch cartoons here? Can I say show of hands? Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. See, me, I really love cartoons. It's so crazy. Like, when I was growing up, my dad asked me a question. What do I want to be in future? I told him, I want to be a space explorer, like the characters in Voltron. Anybody watch Voltron here? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, he laughed. He was like, what do you mean, Voltron? You mean astronaut? I said, no, space explorer. Because I didn't even know what astronaut meant at that point in time. Then he chuckled. He was like, what if you can't do that? I said, then I want to make my own cartoons. And voila, that's where it all started. You can see me with my dad. Nice afro, huh? <laughs> then I, as I was growing up, I figured out that all I wanted to do was draw, draw, and draw. I used to draw on my notes, my exercise books. Oh my god, my mother hated all that. You see, my grades were going down, and drawings were going up. So my mom was always like, go do your homework. Yeah, I'll go do my homework. I'll draw my homework. You understand? So that's how I basically grew up. And I found out that most of my friends either liked cartoons or knew how to draw. That was everything about me. So when all the other guys go playing outside, I go draw. That was basically my childhood. Getting into my teens, I started finding out a lot more about animation. I was like, how do people do these things? Is it for kids or is it for adults? Then I found out that it was adults that actually drew all these things for kids. No kid could actually draw all those kind of things at that point in time. So I started studying. And in all my studies, I met a very remarkable man, or shall I say boy. His name was Ape. His, actually, his name is Akene, but we call him Ape. So I met Ape, and when I met him, it was very funny because he's a very rough kind of person when you first see him. But when you see his drawings, it's a whole different story. So what I did was I said I was never going to talk to him. Then I saw his drawings. Then I stole his drawings. Then he came looking for me. <laughs> and that's how we got our friendship. You can see the difference between us in size. <laughs> then me and Ape, Ape started tutoring me on how to draw. Then I figured out that he would watch a cartoon and draw all the frames inside. How do you possibly do that? You actually have to learn how to make cartoons. But no, not him. You just look at it. I know it's. And he would draw it. I was like, OK, OK, OK. So we developed a friendship. I was studying animation. He was sleeping. But by the time he comes to the pencils, he does way better than me. And I'm like, how do you know? He said, I can see it. I can see each frame. I'm like, what do you mean you can see each frame? He said, I can see each frame of animation as it passes by. So he knew all the fundamentals of animation while I was studying. You can see. You can see. Then an idea popped up to me. By this time, I was in my university. It was boring, trust me. I was studying estate management. No offense to any estate management person here. The lecturer has come. You can't hear anything at the back. But at the same time, I'm like, this is not what I want to do in my life. I want to make cartoons. So I did the unthinkable. I dropped out. My mother went hysterical. Oh my God, what kind of son is this? Um, funny part of it, I lost my dad like two years before I did it. The truth is, thank God he died. Because <laughs> if I didn't, if he if wasn't dead, I'm in trouble. You understand? So my mom went, ah. I said, I don't want to make cartoons. That's what I want to do. So she said, How are you going to learn how to make cartoons? There's no, there's no animation company. In, in Nigeria, that even teaches you how to make cartoons. So I said, I'll go to, on the internet. And I went, packed tutorials, started studying, started learning about animation. Found out that as I was learning about animation, people started coming to meet me, teach me animation, teach me animation. I'm like, teach you animation? I'm learning it myself. But I found out a lot of people don't have that time to come and sit down and say they want to really learn animation. They want someone to put them through. 
So me and Abe started this, shall I call it cult or something, or getting artists together and drawing and teaching animation. Then I had a brilliant idea. Why don't we make a company out of this? And Abe goes, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's do this. And guess what? We failed. <laughs> we failed woefully. Through this, we didn't know anything about running a business. We had so many problems. We had problems with finance, power, finance, power. Did I mention power? <laughs> the power and the rest of them. So we're like, we got 50 guys at first. 50. They were ready to do all this. Passion, hey, passion, hey. Three months down, shoosh, passion, gone, passion, gone. So I was like, man, we failed. I will put a lot of effort into it, money and all that. No funding from anywhere. Trust me, who wants to fund an animation company? Do they even know what animation is? So I go and meet Ape again. Yeah, he's diddling. We failed. Yeah, we failed. Should we do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> I said, OK, let's do it again. And, but this time, there was a difference. We had learned from all our past mistakes. I met a couple of older friends, Papi, Ede, Bio. Guess what? Papi read something in the university. He's not doing that. Ede is a doctor. He's not giving injections. Bio is another doctor, not giving injections. They want to draw. So I was like, okay, let's make cartoons with this. And um, I, so I told them, guess what? I don't have any money to give any of you. They said, no problem. And then now comes to meet me and say, can you set up a team that can create great quality animation in Nigeria? I said, I know a couple of guys I trained some some learned how to draw. Some of them are even better than me. Let's give it a shot. So we got up this new team. I said, let's make cartoons. And let's animate the future with this. So let me show you what we did. Oh, yeah, that's the team. <laughs> so can we see what we actually did from our animation? Anybody? Anybody? Okay.
years if nobody here studied animation. We have a team of 22 people who are some doctors somewhere, some accountants somewhere, I don't even know, lawyers, don't worry, we're not going to take you guys to court. All these guys just came together just because of one single thing, to make great animation. Thank you. <laughs> I think he deserves much more than that. I, get, get off of, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I would like the Sporters team to come on stage, please. Really? All of oh. them? No, okay, maybe not all. If anyone <laughs> is with Spordas and in the hall, can you come on stage, please, at this point? Ooh. This is the best team in the world. This is the best team on the planet. So when we tell you that the theme of this event is the future is us, look at them. This is the future. <laughs> this is Abe. <laughs> so we are so excited about the folks you've seen, but we wanted to take a pause here to acknowledge the fact that this is to celebrate what's happening all around you that you might not know about. These folks are making a change. So have the folks you've heard speak today. Now, if you want to know more about them, they are in the exposition hall to my left. So if you have some loose change in your pocket, they will animate you for a fee. They wanted to do it for free, but I figured good folks like you would appreciate paying a bit for the talent they have. So, again, the exposition hall is to my left. They're available to animate you for free. I'm going to bring him up now and ask him a couple of questions. Right, okay. <laughs> so, what is the future? Where do you want to take this? We have the best stories in Africa. The best. Problem? Delivery. We want to take African stories and deliver it to the same quality that all these Hollywood people have. Basically, that's it. <laughs> What's next? When will we see a full-featured thing that you develop? We're working on it. We're working on it. I can't give you guys any promises. <laughs> it's great to animate, but it's also a lot of work. <laughs> Very soon. OK, good. A round of applause for them again, please. This is for Dust. And as you can see, uh, this, the future is bright. <laughs> Thank you very much. A round of applause again as they go to their seats. Thank you. Thank you.